All right, the 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 crowd, one of the crowd's favorite character, I would say, and she finally got her supplicable SSR version. Because be all this while, she doesn't have an SSR version that is supplicable or non-limited. Because all the SSR versions she has before this were limited. She only has a Christmas and summer version before this. There's no normal one. So yay, we finally got it. All right, so hello, we have Mirin here. Uh, Mirin uh, has 13, 30 HP, 93, 50 attack. Um, she still win. Okay, she's, she went back to win. Attack base and katana. Yep, because she's supposed to be... Is she supposed to be a samurai? I guess she is, right? Heralding blooms. Massive wind damage to a full boost to win allies charge bar game. Activate floral slice. Oh, it just activates it. Okay. Blossom Storm. 8 hit wind damage to a foe. Remove 1 buff. Activates when foe uses a special attack. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's actually kind of nice. Floral Slice. 4 hit wind damage to a foe. Hit to def wind defense stackable. 20% boost to caster charge bar. Ah, she actually looks pretty good. She can o She looks like she can OTK as well. Phoenix Blossom Stance. 100% boost to char caster's charge bar. CA reactivation 1 time. Dodge counter effect to caster. 2 hits. When Samurai power level is at 3, 100% boost to charge bar at the end of turn while in effect. Wow, Samurai power, man. Samurai power. Faith in the blade. Has a maximum charge bar limit of 200. Okay. When charge bar is 100% or higher before attacking, boost to damage cap, deals triple attacks. Oh, wow. <laughs> When using charge attack at 200% charge bar, consume 200% charge bar for a boost of CA specs and 10 hit bonus wind damage. Oh wow, she actually looks really nice. <laughs> for a subtitle character, that looks really nice. Humble in victory, gracious in defeat. After a chamber's activation of 4 or more chains, raise samurai level, eh, samurai, samurai power level by 1, max is 3. Boost to win ally CA specs and supplemental CA specs. Damage based on samurai with power level. <sighs> Time for Ogi, dude. <laughs> I hacking love my Ogi, man. Oh my lord, Ogi, dude. I'm I'm honestly not sure, but if she's using like Kaguya stuff with uh potato, right? If Mirin is the last slot, does she always get two hundred charge bar every turn? It actually sounds possible. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible or not, but it looks possible. But it does look like they um they didn't mention that she can only Ogi at 200 anyway, right? But it looks like she can still Ogi even at 100%, so it's still not that bad. Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of cool though. She looks kind of cool, but very Ogi low. Very, very Ogi, even a weapon is Ogi. Oh my goodness, so bad. Okay, charge bar gain, you get 30% charge bar. But at the same time, because she auto activates her second skill, which gives her extra 20% charge bar. So if she has extra 20% meter, so that 20% meter is added in with the 30% charge bar gain up, right? You get even more meter basically. So you get more than 20% because of this Ogi boost thingy. Okay, so first skill, she has 8 hits, uh, 68k per hit, and then Dispel. I like the fact that it auto-activates no matter what, every time when a whenever the boss does his trigger. So that's really nice. Auto-activation is kind of like similar with Yukata Naru as well in a way. Or like, uh, take, take uh, Bowman for example. Whenever they, they do something, they auto like counter nuke or whatever. Very, very handy. And then her second skill for hit is 155,000 per hit. And it looks like uh, Wiki did a typo here. It's missing one digit. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one is 10% up to 30%. And then this one is uh, self explanatory I think. 100% boost to charge bar at the end of turn is pretty good. It's also 8 turn cooldown instead of 7 on S2. I just realized Wiki is, is written it as 7. And then at 75, it's 6 turns. Wait a second. The in-game shows 8 though. <laughs> yeah, the wiki boys need some rest, man. Damage cap is 20%. Okay, 20% and guaranteed triple. And then the uh, CA specs is... Wait, I'm confused. Wait, what? No, you see, the thing is I'm confused is that in-game, it says when using charge attack at 200% charge bar, consumes the 200 meter 
of charge bar for CA specs, right? Doesn't CA specs mean CA damage and CA cap, right? But here it's just straight up say that the, uh, they changed the modifier of this, the, which is usually the modifier for massive is uh, 450. They said they're changing this to 900% because that's what game width is written as well. It's kind of weird because it shouldn't be labeled as CA specs. But yeah, the 10 hit is uh, 80,000 per hit. Yeah, the CA specs again <laughs> per stack is 30% CA damage, 20% CA cap and 100,000 supplemental. So it goes up to 90% CA damage, 60% CA cap, and uh, 300,000 supplemental. But okay, I mean, end of the day, I feel like uh, Mirin is just a very, very strong contender to be placed in Ogi-oriented setups for win, I suppose. She just does damage. She doesn't really, like, do crazy, insane utility buffs to the team other than just for this, really. This is the only one that is really helping the team but the rest is just damage, 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 dispel, damage, debuff, damage. This one technically is damage because you know you're getting CA reactivation and whatnot. And then uh, damage, 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 damage. If you are able to get 200 meter, you can get a lot of hits though with uh, potato. Because potato gives you quite a bit of hits if you double cast potato shit, right? And then you also get the... Uh, 10 extra hits whenever you do 200% uh, charge bar. When you nuke with 200% charge bar, right? You get extra 10 hits as well on top of that. So that's like easily 30, close to maybe 40 hits already with Mirin and Potato, like Charlotte Grand. That's is quite a lot of hits with Ogi again. I guess that's probably like one of the things they're trying to uh, add into, <laughs> add into uh, the, the V2 stuff. You know, get, giving you more options for V2 where you can Ogi, man. You can Ogi because you guys really love your Ogi. You're showing it to side games and all. You got to embrace your Ogi and join uh, teams where it also allows you to get crazy amount of hits. So you can actually get rid of like specific omens with just Ogi alone. I guess it. I guess there's that. Yeah, that, that, that's what it is, I suppose. All right. I mean, to be fair, the good thing about Mirin is that she's very straightforward. She's just straight on like shitting on damage. Like just sh just, <laughs> just just shit that shit on uh, the boss. Just nonstop with all this damage stuff. And then she can dispel a little bit. Helps out a lot too. She has charge bar gain. Yep, she has charge bar gain, she has CA damage, cap, and uh, stamina. Where right, I max this, you max this, you max this. I guess you can just max this too and then you're uh, you're more or less done already. <laughs> then you can uh, do the same, I guess. You can uh, put one, one here, and then uh, put one here. Or you could just uh, not put it on HP or you, can, you don't care about your defense. You just put all in HP and call it a day. How does CA reactivation works with 200% charge bar Ogi? It should be it should be mimicking the uh, the 200% because it reactivates the, the, the previous Ogi. So even though it counts, your, technically your bar is at zero, zero, but it's reactivating it. It's not like, it's not like, this is not like Kango. Like, Kango MC's Ogi is that you have 200% meter, but because your Ogi only requires 100% meter, right? So you're eating 100%, then you Ogi again, eat another 100%. So that's how, that's, uh, that's one of the biggest difference. Because she has CA reactivation, right? Yeah, that she has CA reactivation on this, right? So it means that if you have this and you have, because this gives you extra boost boost to charge power, right? Whatever. This should easily gain her 200%. So when you use this with 200%, she'll be able to, uh, what's that? Get two, two nukes at once. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty huge. But, uh, well, the main problem is it's your turns cooldown though, right? She off turns cooldown and she doesn't have any form of, uh, cooldown reduction at all. So you have to use this very sparingly. You cannot just spam this because you, you, this is only working on uh, once every three of turns after all. That's that's the reason why it's uh, it's so huge. This one is a really, really big nuke button because that will also mean that you can get 20 hits off this. Very cool. And then you get this as well. So you get to cast this twice as well. But yeah, the wording for this is uh, kind of confusing. And yeah, you get extra 300k as well. <laughs> yes, CA specs and 300k. And I'm pretty sure she's already going to hit the hard cap super easily anyway. The hard cap for Ogi, I think, is like around 6.6 .6 mil or so. 
she can easily hit that with uh, this because apparently it turns her modifier from 450 basic basic standard massive uh the massive mod right that massive text is like a mod type right because there's a massive and there's unworldly and then there's there's big there's yeah apparently if you go to like r and sr characters they have like lower tiers of mods the massive is always tends to be like like at least majority of them tends to be at 450 percent according to what they say according to what game with uh said is that this CA specs meaning that it will change the modifier to very very close to unworldly because unworldly is like around 1250 if I recall correctly the modifier is around 1250 so it turns this into from 450 to 900 percent in other words the uh, the modifier just got doubled which is pretty huge <laughs> yeah so yeah she should be able to hit hard cap very easily so having this is uh, very very helpful because you're able to go above the uh, the set hard cap because you get extra 300k supplemental the ca specs doesn't really uh uh bump your 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 ogi to go above the hard cap unfortunately the only way for you to go above the hard cap is that you need a special CA cap buff. Yeah, the easiest one I can tell you is like Octo, like for yeah, for example, like Octo or like Keg, you know, those kind of characters. Uh, let me show you like say so yeah, Octo. So yeah, like this. Special CA damage cap. So these these ones, these this those wording, this type of wording are the ones where you can go above the hard cap which is above 6.6 .6 mil that's the reason why octo hits so hard for those who are not familiar with octo that's why he's like the the ogi the ogi, the ogi god he's basically the ogi god the one of the really good things about her is that for weaker players who are not really like super strong yet in their grids and whatnot because of her passive because of like her skills uh, the, the skill sets or whatever how you how you however you want to call it basically allows her to able to hit that hard cap a lot easier without really needing a lot of uh you know crazy amount of grid it makes it so much easier so if you have like say if you're on um why you call that you're on a weaker side again you could instead of putting crit you know like the one i mentioned in the emp earlier instead of putting the crit you can put it on OG, uh, ca damage instead you could just focus on that so at least you can hit the the cap more consistently to say because you can technically max those out and you can easily get extra 40 percent uh, ca damage so if you're not able to uh get enough from your grid you get 40 percent from your emp you also get uh, what 90 percent i think from this the ca specs you get 90 percent ca damage so that allows you to be stacked on top of the 900 percent modifier here that uh, it changes when you're getting the 200 percent charge bar okay so th hopefully that helps yeah so she can let you hit more consistently if you're on a weaker side which is really great though so this is a ver is definitely more towards like very very helpful to newer players or lower level players to say the least and then with the help of this this just gives you a little bit extra buff because of the 300k uh, supplemental gives you able to head have above so you can hit like maybe 7 mil or something because you get extra 300 right and this is just excluding from like all of the stuff that is from your grid if you have any form of stuff that in your grid that gives extra supplemental you know like take Belial for example Belial gives you supplemental to everyone you know like or any other stuff in the in the in your whatever setup or whatever your characters your grid the buffs everything this is not taking account at any of that and you can easily hit like seven mil so if you're able to add any more you can easily get more than seven mil with her if you're into that by all means i think she's really uh, good for that uh, particular one where you just want to go uh, full auto you want to use your ogi stuff she can do relatively quite a bit of hits as well to to help along with that yeah maybe she can be somewhat useful in like harder raids or like any form of uh, v2 raids which requires you to do xx amount of uh hits gives you like a uh, xx amount of like uh, ogi you know those kind of stuff any form of v2 related things i feel like she's possible to help in that regard as well so i think that's why she's relatively good too but uh, i think that's the extent i'm going to talk about this character because we are going to relink now <laughs>
All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. I will see you guys again next time. I should probably put the the. Imp I should probably start putting impressions on the on my YouTube channel as well for my reeling stuff. I should actually dig back like the. I think I still have the vod for like the CATN song stuff. I could probably put that on YouTube as well. I never really thought of doing that. For some reason, I never did. I should have them.